Today we're talking about life balance and how you could achieve it. How's it going guys? Dr. Tank PharmD here, board certified practicing pharmacist and personal health coach, helping action takers like you take back control of their lives in a structured format. And although I am a medicine specialist, I'm not your specialist. So if you have any questions regarding your condition, please see your doctor. Let's get into it. Today we're talking about life balance. Everybody seeks for life balance. Today we're talking about life balance. Everybody seeks for life balance. And although we all try to achieve it, we all know what it's like to feel out of balance. We all look at kids and envy their lack of responsibility and their carefreeness. We think that life balance means that we're carefree like kids. We associate life balance as having no responsibility, when in fact, it's the opposite. Because we care for so many things, and so many things are important to us, we have to juggle all those different things. And that's the problem that we have, is juggling all those different things that we care about. We often tell ourselves that life gets in the way of us balancing it. There are priorities that often get in the way of us doing things that we want to do. The biggest mistake I see when people try to achieve life balance is that they gauge their own life balance and think that when they're off, then they need to address it. Let's say they're living their life and they feel like they've neglected their partner and they feel like they need to rebalance that by spending time with them. When in fact, it's been not just days, it could be weeks or months of this. And then they start to reassess themselves and realize life has been off balance for them relationship wise. The biggest mistake I see when people are trying to achieve life balance is that they try to go about it by feel. They say to themselves, oh, I think I'm gonna take care of something when I'm lacking it. In other words, they're just gauging when they're not balanced in something and then they address it. The problem with this is that it could be days, weeks, or months, and this has been a neglected topic in their life for a while. Let's say you don't work out for a day. That's fine. You miss a week. That's getting rougher. If you miss a month, that's an entire month off of your habit, and you gotta rebuild that habit again. What this means is people are judging by their feel and they could be off by months or years before they address important things in their lives. This also applies a lot to relationships where you have a significant other that you've been ignoring for days, weeks, or months. And the buildup is very difficult to feel out. Basically, what this is telling you is you can't trust your judgment on how you feel about balance in your life. People often say that balance in their life gets in the way because they're living their life and dealing with their priorities. There are two problems with this one. One is that if it's a priority in their life and it's gotten in the way, it must be important. So it must be balanced. There are two problems with this. First, if something gets in the way, it must be a priority. And if it's a priority in your life, it must be balanced. So you must take that into account. The second problem is that these priorities we have in life are of our doing. These are our values at work. We make these judgment calls every day. And when it comes to something that's important to us, we make the call on whether it's an important priority or not. If you stay late at work and work those hours instead of spending time with your family, that is your choice. You choose to be at that job and you choose to spend extra time there instead of spending it with your family. You could always find a different job and you could always leave work on time. But it's a judgment call on your end. And it's hard to accept that these things in our lives that are out of balance are our fault. But that's something we need to do. So how do we go about understanding our priorities? Everybody has different priorities and different degrees of them. A good base to start to understand our values and priorities is with Maslow's hierarchy of needs. He addresses different types of needs that we have as humans and the priority it takes on a structural pyramid. On the bottom of the pyramid, you have the fundamental physiological needs that everybody has. This includes food, water, clothing, shelter, and air. As we move beyond those physiological needs, you move on to the secondary human needs, such as love, security, belonging, and happiness and self-fulfillment. Once you understand your priorities and your needs, you start to understand where your values lie and how you could start balancing your life. There are two things you need to do to really lock down your values and start balancing your life again. 
The first thing you need to do is you need to self-evaluate. What's important to you and what's a priority? Is it your family or is it your job? If it's hard for you to ask that question, then you need to ask the alternative question. Which one are you willing to sacrifice if the other one was put on the table? I used to value a clean home. When I lived with my ex, she would always have a dirty place. And for me, a clean home is very important. Now, I wasn't the type of guy that had all his tools up on a pegboard with tracings of it so that you know exactly where it went. But I did believe in having a toolbox and putting things back where they belong so that you could know where to find it next time. At the time though, I was always getting angry at her for being messy. And what I didn't realize at that time was I was sacrificing our relationship for a clean home. Some of these judgment calls are very difficult choices. Some of them we have to make and understand that we're giving up some of our values for something we value more. Now I know, understand, and appreciate that time with family takes priority in my life. If family time is scheduled, the to-do list has to go. The second thing you need to do to balance your life is to schedule your priorities. Now it's important to have routine schedules for very important things, such as dates with significant others. You can't always trust your judgment when it comes to feeling things out in your life. If it's important, you'll schedule it. For me, I schedule my workouts. It's a routine now, but I still make time for it and schedule it. For me, working out is very important, so I schedule it routinely. Health is an important priority to me, so I have to schedule and block out that time. I know that if I don't schedule it, I'm not gonna go. Now I'm not saying if something isn't a priority or urgent that you don't deal with it. We all have things we have to do. You have to have supplies in your house. You have to clean the house. It's comfortable to live in. But I'm saying if it's urgent and important, you deal with it first. And then you make sure you deal with the important and not urgent things. Because those are your values right there. Make time for the important things in your life, even though they're not urgent. There are so many things in life that are important and urgent, and you have to deal with that, and that's understandable. It's life. But you have to make time for the important things that aren't urgent. Balance can look different for everybody because everyone has different values and different degrees of those values. Yours may not even be the same as your significant other. The important thing is you have to understand what your life balance is. What's your priority and what's important to you? People think of balance as a noun, something you achieve and you're successful. When in fact, balance is a verb. You're actively working on it. You're actively making decisions every day that affect it. You choose whether your life is in balance or not. And you choose whether it's in balance by your own standard of reference. Balance is active, it's a verb. You do it every day. So what do you think? How balanced is your life? What priorities are so important to you that you are not willing to sacrifice? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, stay healthy.